I just have the paper, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. If you'd like to share, please come along. So, well, before ours isn't really visual either. It's uh, kind of for ours, our like uh, cross pollination diagram. Um, we we realized early on in the in the first session that the those of us who had come together really uh, had a lot of resonance in what we were doing and what what our needs were and how we could. We we're already quickly seeing ways in which we could. Um, fulfill those needs for one another and, and and all benefit and so we spent a lot of the second one uh, second session starting to map that out and seeing ways in which um, our communities that we already have revolving around our uh, visions and our work uh, can already begin to <coughs> cross over as our little map shows and so some of the kind of big goals that we saw in terms of permaculture and education uh, the Kiva Center and the um, Jenna does occupational therapy and then we have a homeschool community and kind of umbrella school and then we have a permaculture uh, space at the secret garden and I'm not right. oh there you are Elizabeth <laughs> and um, so we saw and the Kiva Center does events and, and so we just immediately began to kind of build this vision of uh, creating and developing opportunities for children to create permaculture teaching spaces, not just come to them, but really um, be a part of the development and the growth and the planning and the design of these spaces. Um, and that through that and we're doing that, we cultivate playfulness and follow the spontaneous interests and passions. Uh, let those guide our inquiries with the children and with each other. Um, and inviting everyone to really think about how best you learn and becoming and taking a stand for that truth um, because our society and our culture, this is me speaking now so I'm not speaking for anyone else, um, really I think tries to tell us all to learn in one way and many of us have experienced that that isn't always what nourishes your soul and you've found that for yourself since then and to really be a stand for that and to voice that and uh, to really uh, begin to create this movement around opening up and jump onto this movement having more and more voices behind that um, but how much wisdom can come from following those spontaneous interests and passions uh, and that just one little plug that I think is a really cool thing that we can all probably support is this thing coming up called the Evolve Expo. Mm -hmm. And we all talked about how maybe there's ways for us to participate in that and to support that. And it's really about bringing um, new paradigms for how to live, technologies that are available, uh, spaces that are available, to share that and to come together and bring that to the, the broader world in a very well advertised and well connected I mean big thing that's happening at the Denver Convention Center um, and so the Kiva Center is already participating in that and if you'd like more information about what is that and maybe some people to contact about getting involved in that let me know um, that's yeah, so that's what we do. yeah.